A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Sunderland vs. Rotherham United Team News. A number of changes are set to be made to the Sunderland 11 as the manager prepares for the visit of Rotherham on Saturday. In addition to Cullum Doyle and Carl Winchester, three new players will be making their debuts in the championship clash. Also, Ray Parler, who rejected a move to the Black Cats, will return to the team. Callum Doyle. The Black Cats have made three changes to their team ahead of Saturday's clash against Rotherham United. Irish wingback Wilbrick has been ruled out through ineligibility. Ethaniel Klein has also been left out, as is Carl Winchester. Earlier in the week, the manager said he was unsure if Freddie Ladapo would be available. The Black Cats are currently fourth in the table, and a win over Rotherham would confirm their place in the top six. Rotherham, meanwhile, need to win this game to protect their automatic promotion hopes. While they will need a win, they should be considered favorites. The team's recent form has been exemplary, with just two defeats in the last ten games. Two key players have been injured in recent weeks. First, Carl Winchester has picked up a growing injury against Cambridge. Doyle is expected to start today in place of him, with Daniel coming in for him. Craig Doyle has made 32 appearances for the club in League One this season, making 2.9 tackles and an interceptions per game. Also, David Brophy is back from injury and is set to replace the injured Lee Johnson. As for the visitors, the Black Cats were outplayed throughout the game. Despite the fact that Callum Doyle and George Williams have both hit the woodwork in recent games, they could not find a way to score. And although they dominated the first half, the hosts looked off the pace at times, and Neil continued to make changes to the starting eleven. Carl Winchester As the Black Cats continue their run of fixtures in League One, a few injury concerns are looming ahead of Tuesday night's match against Rotherham United. Carl Winchester suffered an apparent growing injury during Saturday's on as a row win over Cambridge United and will not be risked in the Sunderland team. He is likely to be replaced by Callum Doyle. Meanwhile, Dennis Serkin is also a doubt and will not be involved in the team unless he is able to recover quickly. Fortunately, Alex Pritchard has recovered from a calf injury and could be involved. Similarly, Rust Stewart will also be involved as a substitute in the team after recent good form. The Sunderland vs. Rotherham matchup is one of the crucial games in the championship this season. Both teams are chasing a playoff place. Sunderland are nine games unbeaten and can go all the way to the playoffs if they win. Rotherham, meanwhile, have won their last two home games and are looking to reclaim their place in the second tier. While the team news surrounding both sides is a little mixed, Neil has made three changes to the side for Tuesday's clash. The Irish wing-back Tri Hume has been the first player to be signed by Sunderland and is expected to start the match on the right wing. Meanwhile, Callum Doyle, J. Matt and Lyndon Buch are likely to move to the opposite flank. While Carl Winchester is missing from the team, Jack Clark and Elliot Embleton are on the substitute bench. Sunderland will look to improve on their performance from Saturday's drab display. After conceding two early goals from a controversial penalty, the Black Cats began to exert more pressure. Despite this, they were unable to trouble Johansson and were left with little hope of a comeback. Evans had a chance to score from the edge of the box after a cross from Alex Pritchard. However, Rotherham almost doubled their lead just before the interval. Ray Parler Former Arsenal player Ray Parler has a rich football background. He played for the Gunners for 14 years. He joined the club as a trainee in 1989 and made his first team debut against Liverpool in 1992. In his early days, he played sparingly and was more notable for his disciplinary problems than for his performance. Nevertheless, he managed to make 12 appearances for the England at Whitey one side during that time renowned as Romford Peel. Parler turned down a huge offer from Sunderland to move to the North East. The former Arsenal midfielder enjoyed a trophy-laden career under Arsene Wenger and won the Premier League twice, the FA Cup twice and the Community Shield. But in 2001, he turned down a lucrative offer from Sunderland and chose to stay. Despite the setback, Sunderland remain in fourth place in the table, having previously beaten Cambridge United 5-1 on Wearside.
With a win, they will ensure automatic promotion, while a defeat will leave them in sixth place. Sheffield Wednesday, meanwhile, must lose to relegation threatened Fleetwood to stay in the playoff places. In the meantime, Rotherham are one point clear of Wickham and MK Dons. Ray Parler turned down a move to Sunderland. After spending 16 years with Arsenal, Ray Parler was ready for a new challenge and in July 2004 agreed to join the North East Club for Pst. 12 million. The former England international is now on the books of Middlesbrough. The decision to join Middlesbrough was a controversial one for both the player and the club. Earlier reports suggested that Parler had turned down a move to Sunderland because of the uncertainty over his future Sunderland wanted to sign Parler but he turned it down, despite the fact that Middlesbrough had made a bid of 750000 The latter would pay Parler directly, so that the former Arsenal player could move to the North East. Middlesbrough had also been linked with Chelsea defender Jeremy, who turned down the club's bid. In addition to Parler, Middlesbrough have also been linked with Bowd Wyanzinden, who spent last season on loan at the Riverside. However, he turned down the personal terms offered by Burrow and has opted to stay at Chelsea. Parler later won the Premier League twice with Arsenal and was dubbed the Romford Pele. The midfielder won three league titles with the club, the FA Cup twice and UEFA Cup once, and was a key player in Arsenal's treble triumph in 2005. He later moved to Middlesbrough where he spent three seasons. With both clubs, he reached the final of the UEFA Cup and the Premier League and played for Manchester City. The Arsenal midfield included several important players who made the club a top-flight force. Parler played in many Cup Winners' Cup finals and was captain of the Invincible squad in 2003-04. With his consistent performance and his unglamorous image, he won three Premier League titles and four FA Cups. His goal tally in the FA Cup final against Newcastle United was a high point of his career. Alex Neal makes three changes to Sunderland versus Rotherham United team. Alex Neal has made three changes to his Sunderland team ahead of the game against Rotherham United. Luconian has been rested after a poor performance against Cambridge. Neal has produced three goals and seven assists from midfield this season. He could be a surprise inclusion if he can replicate his form against the Canaries. The rest of the team remains unchanged. The three changes in Alex Neal's Sunderland vs. Rotherham team were made after Sunderland's 0-0 draw with Charlton at the start of the season. Despite losing that match, Neal is confident of getting at least one point from the next two matches. After all, the team is still in a position to finish in the top six even if they lose a couple of points. Rotherham are fighting for survival and can use a win to cement their place in the championship. Trey Hume returns from injury, while the Irish wing-back is likely to start in the right-back position. Palam Doyle and Lyndon Gook are likely to return, but neither will defender Jack Clark. As for the midfield, Neil will probably start with seven players, including strikers Tom Ince, Yoko Anua, and Chris Lowe. Warren opted to stick with the same side that beat Oxford. But Neil made three changes after the first half. Despite a strong first half performance, Sunderland were unable to capitalize on their advantage, as rather more in control in the opening 45 minutes. Their directness posed a challenge for Alex Neil's side. In addition to this, Chidozi Ogbeen and Matt Smith were introduced.